What if it was your birthday? What if you won a million dollars? What if you got an awesome new toy? What if you got a perfect report card? Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Would you tell your family? Would you tell your friends? Would you tell everybody? Who would you tell? What would you say? Guess what? You've got to hear this. This is awesome. Would you tell them all about it? Would you leave anything out? Would they see your excitement? Who would you tell? What if God gave us his son? To love us. To forgive us. To die for us. To be punished for us. Instead of us. To save us. The greatest gift ever. Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Who would you tell? Would you tell your family? Would you tell your friends? Would you tell everybody? Who would you tell? What would you say? Guess what? You've got to hear this. This is awesome. Would you tell them all about it? Would you leave anything out? Would they see your excitement? Who would you tell? Hi friends, Mr. Mark from CGS Kids again. So glad we could get together like this again. Miss Judy is doing a fantastic job helping us out doing this. I am so happy she's helping us. Hey, we're gonna start out with a little prayer today. We haven't been doing that and I feel bad about that. So everybody fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear Lord, we just wanna thank you for today's technology so that in this, this time of this pandemic, this virus, we can get together and do what we're doing and still spread your word, Lord. We just pray for safety in everybody. We pray that our ears and hearts are open to hear your word and let us live your word. We love you so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Well, hey, today we're going to be talking about the ascension of Jesus Christ. This was after Easter. We just celebrated Easter. You guys remember that, right? Everything, all we did about Easter. Jesus died on the cross, came back to life three days later. Well, does everybody understand why Jesus died? Jesus died because of our nasty sins, our, our bad choices. They separate us from God. God doesn't want us to be separated from him. So he has a plan and he put it into action. Jesus was his plan. Jesus came, he died for our sins so that we could get back together with God. God didn't leave us, it's when we make bad choices that we leave him. So, with his plan in place, we now have a way to get back together with God and live in a perfect paradise called heaven with him forever. Isn't that great news? I think that's awesome. So Jesus' best friends were so sad when he died, but he told them, I'm gonna come back. They had no idea what he was talking about. They saw him die. They know nobody comes back from the dead. They had no clue, but boy, were they in for a big surprise. Three days after Jesus died, he came back to life. But his friends didn't know that. A lot of them didn't. Some did, not a lot of them. They were so scared because they knew the mean people that killed Jesus knew who they were. They were afraid they were going to come and get them too. So. They went and they hid in a house in a room. They shut the door and they locked it tight. Let me tell you, a locked door ain't gonna stop Jesus when he wants to come see you. So Jesus came and he visited him. He came right in the same room with him. One of his friends looked at him and said, ah, it's a ghost! But it wasn't a ghost, it was Jesus. Jesus started talking to him. He said, hey, it's me, I'm real, look, I'm real. He had real skin, he had real bones. He had a mouth and a stomach. He had everything. As a matter of fact, he told me, he says, hey, I'm kind of hungry. You guys got anything to eat? All of his friends watched him eat. They were like, they couldn't believe their eyes. Jesus was with them again, and he's eating. He was a real man. They couldn't believe it. This was awesome news. Jesus' friends, they couldn't get enough of being with him again because they were with him before. They lost him. Now they're back with him again. They couldn't get enough. Jesus spent about one month back on earth and he's walking around with his friends and it was time, he knew it was time to go home to be with his father. So he turned and he looked at his friends and said, guys, it's time for me to go home to my father. And all of his friends were like, wait, what? They were confused. 
We just, you died, you came back, you're with us, why would you go? They didn't understand. They still, they just didn't understand Jesus' words, his lessons. But they trusted Jesus, so they followed him. Well, they wound up coming up to a town. It was up on a hill, and they started climbing up the hill. And when Jesus reached his destination, he turned around, and he looked at his friends, and he gave them some instruction. He told them to go everywhere and tell everyone about him. His words in the Bible, remember last week, Mark 16, 15 said, go everywhere in the world and tell the world the good news. After he told them that, something amazing happened. His friends are watching Jesus. He's on the hill, and the next thing they know, his feet started to come off the ground. Now, he didn't jump. He didn't come back down. He just started floating and floating higher and higher. He was just, it's not like someone, like when you pick up a baby and you pick him up and everything's dangly. He was just floating like he was standing still and floating and he went higher and higher and higher. And his friends kept watching. They're just looking up in the sky and their mouth is like, where's he going? And Jesus disappeared up into the clouds. What just happened? He just flew away. They couldn't believe themselves. They couldn't believe their eyes. They couldn't believe anything. They were just standing there, heads up, staring. Where'd he go? Their mouths just opened. Just, oh! And all of a sudden, they realized they weren't alone. They all looked back down, and there were two guys in shiny robes standing on either end of them. And these guys were angels. These angels looked at Jesus' friends, and they said, uh, What are you guys doing? Jesus said he was going home to his father so that he can rescue you, so that he can come back and rescue all of you. That's where he went. And Jesus' friends were like, this all makes sense. Now we understand. We know what we have to do. Jesus' friends realized then the message. Go throughout the world and tell everyone the good news. The good, the good news is that Jesus is our rescuer. So, Jesus' friends then went out, and they told some people. And then they told some more people, and the first people they told, told some people. And they told more people, and they told more people, and they told this people, these people, they told these people, these people told, everybody just kept telling everybody. And next thing you knew, it grew throughout the towns and villages and across the world, and everybody was telling everybody, and everybody was telling everybody, everybody was, pretty soon, she told him, and he told her, and he told his uncle, and then somebody came and told me the good news about Jesus. And that's what we're doing now, is we're here to tell you the good news about Jesus. Isn't this awesome? You don't have to go to church to get it. You hear it from a friend, and then you go to church to start learning the lesson. That's what the good news is. Jesus is our rescuer, and we're supposed to tell the world. Isn't that fantastic? Well, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go share the news. So before I do, though, we're all going to get up and we're going to worship. So everybody, come on, join me. Everybody stand up. We're going to worship together.
Melissa. I hope you had a wonderful time of worshiping God that you were singing and dancing because boy, does he love that. Well, if you remember, uh, Mr. Mark was sharing with us something about what Jesus said to his disciples. Do you remember what that was? The good news of his rescuing us or saving us from our sins. Um, this is what the Bible says. Go everywhere in the world, tell the good news to everyone. And that is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. And since that's written down in the Bible, uh, and the Bible is God's word to us, Jesus wasn't just talking to his disciples, but he's talking to you and I, to everyone. If you've asked Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior, and you believe that he died for your sins and was raised from the dead, and I know some of you do, well, but some of you that haven't asked him, you can do that today. So the message is for all of us, for everyone, your friends, your cousins, the boy or girl you meet at the park, and the stranger on the street. He, you know, Jesus wants us to get excited to tell others and to help us to do that. It's good to get God's word in our heart and mind to memorize his word. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand up. Come on, everybody. I know some of you like just be sitting down, but I want you to stand up. Okay, everybody stood up. I want you to put your hands down by your sides and just follow me, okay? All right, let's get ready and let's do it. Okay, go everywhere in the world. Tell the good news to everyone. Hold up your Bibles, Mark 16, 15. Okay, let's do it just one more time. Stay, stand up, don't, don't sit down. Okay, get your hands down by your sides. All right, let's, let's say it together. Go everywhere in the world. Tell the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Good job, guys. So I want you to get excited this week, and I want you to go tell someone. So you guys have a blessed week. Take care, and, and uh, we hope to see you next week and to share more of God's Word. Bye-bye. Hi, friends. Have you been stuck inside for a long time? Maybe you can't go to school or church right now. Maybe you can't go to the store or your friend's house or even the park. Now, I don't know about you, but after being stuck inside for so long, I'm getting really bored. But guess what? There's a lot of fun things to do as a family right inside your house. So come on, let's do something fun. to write cards for people that we can't see right now. Since a lot of us can't go to school or church or play on our sports team, we might not be able to see our friends, teachers, teammates, or family members, and that's really sad. But we can still talk to them and make them cool cards. For my card, I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half. I'm going to write my friend's name on the outside, and on the inside, I'm going to write them a note and draw a picture. I'm going to tell my friend how much they mean to me and how much I miss them. I'm going to write my favorite thing about them and my favorite thing to do with them. I'm also going to draw them a nice picture. You can write anything you want in your card. Decorate it with drawings, markers, stickers, and whatever else you want to use. When you finish your card, you can mail it to your friend or hold on to it until you see them again. Bible, a man named Paul wrote letters to a lot of churches, 
He wanted to encourage his friends and tell them not to give up when they were sad. We can do the same thing. Write letters and cards to all of your friends and family to remind them how much you and Jesus love them. Hey everyone, Miss Chris here. I hope everybody's doing well. How do you like Mr. Mark's messages? Isn't he awesome? I love to hear his stories. Um, I wanted to let you know that we're missing you. I don't know if you guys are missing us, but it's like been five weeks. We are all missing you. And I want you to remember that. We're thinking of you. We're praying for you. Um, I want to remind you, you can always go to God. You can always go to God, no matter what. You know, I told you that before. Walking around, getting up in the morning, whenever, you can go to him. So don't forget. Um, don't forget that we love you. And I hope we get to see each other soon. See you later.